Hello everybody, let's put our hands on the 2D special effects. First of all, we have made it for Adobe After Effects and also for Premiere Pro. We will start here in After Effects, see how to set it up and how to recreate this fancy animation. It works with our free plugin Animation Composer. You can download it from mrhorse.tv. Then install it and in After Effects open it here. So here we are. First of all, make sure that you are logged in. I already am. And then go to Manage Products. Then wait until it loads, scroll down, and here press Download. The pack is pretty small, so it's gonna be quick. It's done, and I can press Show to reveal all the compositions that were installed. Done, we are all set. Let's now take a look at what the effects can do. I'll create a new composition with a dark background. I'll close this, reopen it, and let's add some effect. I'll add energy, this one. Then I will add some liquid, this, and the smoke, this one. I'll just move it around a little. Okay, most of the effects have a glow effect applied on them. So for example, this energy, uh, let's look at it, have this blue glow. If you click here to reveal the master properties, you can turn the glow on and off. You can change the radius or the glow softness and so on. By the way, you have the same controls in the Premiere Pro. You can also change the colors. You can save these colors as a preset. And the next time you will add the same effect, it will be added with these colors. Now let's see the liquid. Liquid has a choke mat. I'll move the playhead here. And if you change the choke mat, this is what you get. You can change the color as well. So let's change it to white. And you can add your own effects on it. So let's for example add the drop shadow. Double click. I'll change it to white, increase the softness and the opacity, and here we are, a glowing liquid. <laughs> All the effects were hand-drawn frame by frame to be in 30 frames per second. So if you are shooting a video in 30 frames per second and you would like to combine it with these effects, it will look great. And if you would like to make it look old school, you can add the posterized time effect. So I'll just duplicate this layer, move it here, open the effects and presets, search for posterize time, and I can lower the frame rate to let's say 12. Now if I preview this, you can see that this one is running a lower FPS. I'll delete this, and if you want to shorten it, you can use for example a mask. I'll select this tool, Draw a rectangle here, press F to reveal the mask's feather, increase it a little bit, let's see, OK, and here we go. Now I will show you one more trick with the smoke, so let's move it a bit here so we can see it, and let's apply a drop shadow effect. Shadow, here we are, close this. I'll change the color to something like this. I'll check this box to show shadow only. Decrease the distance and increase the softness. I'll change the color to something lighter. Good. So this is what we get. Pretty cool. Good. Let's now get a little bit creative and let's recreate this animation. I will just delete these layers. Now let's build it from the scratch. You can browse the effects by using this list, or you can also click this little button to open the grid view. Then you can browse using this menu, for example, the electric, and let's add something. First of all, I need to click to the composition that I'm working in, and then I'll, I'll just close these 
and open it again and I'll go to electric and I'll choose this one to edit. Now let's add some sparks. I'll choose this one and also another one. Yes, this one. All these three effects are emitting a light. So what we are going to do is change the blend mode to add. As we are on a dark background, it's gonna look much better. So let's start with the electric. I'll just rescale it. I'll just move these two somewhere else. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, that's good enough. Then this spark, we want to make it smaller. Move it here or here. I'll change the position of the anchor point. Move it here. And then we will animate the position and the scale. So I'll press P for position, hold Shift and press S for scale. Add keyframes, move them here, then move the playhead here, add the keyframes and change the position of the layer. So now it animates nicely and we want also to change the scale. So I'll just add a scale keyframe, add another one, press K to go to the next keyframe, change the scale to zero, press J, J, J to move between keyframes and change scale to zero again. So now it's animating. Okay, I want to change the position slightly. Okay, this looks good. Now let's add the other spark to the end. So I'll just move it up, reposition. And again, I'll press Y, move the anchor point here. Now let's change the scale. A little bit bigger. Now let's add the liquid. So I'll go here to liquids, scroll down and I want to add this one. The first thing that I'm gonna do is to flip it horizontally. So I'll press S for scale, turn this off and add minus so it's flipped. Great. I'll move it down below the text layer, move the playhead to the beginning of this spark and I'll move the layer to change the timing. Good. This is good. Now I'll reposition it here. And let's see how it looks. Good. Done. <laughs>